Here we have the p3cars.com vent integrated digital interface version 2 for the BMW 335. There's a few new things you can see here. First of all, there is now two buttons. And also we have a new tighter bar graph that uh, looks a little fancier for us. And uh, in addition to that, we also have a four-digit display, which is why you're seeing high-resolution vacuum to the tenth because the negative symbol is taking a digit and then you have three more digits. So um, I'd like to run through the modes here real quick. The first button is similar to the function of the button on the old gauge which is a peak recall. So that'll flash back your peak. We haven't made any boost. So. And then uh, the second button now is your mode change. So if we push that button, since I haven't uh, pushed it in a while it actually just read back my current mode name so that's like if you wonder what you're looking at you can push that and it'll tell you if you push it again within like six seconds it'll actually switch to the next mode coolant temp air intake temp ignition timing exhaust gas temperature throttle plate position so you can see if you're getting throttle closure RPM and shift so you can see your RPM and know when to shift your digital speed readout this is actual ECU speed so it'll look different than what's on your cluster it'll be more accurate and a 0 to 60 timer and it's going to tell me to stop since it thinks the car is going 55 miles per hour right now as soon as I come to a stop it's going to say ready now the gauge will automatically start as soon as it senses the car starts moving. So I'm going to start driving and as soon as I hit 60 miles per hour the gauge will stop and as you can see I just got a rockin' 4.07 0 to 60 time. Another thing I'd like to demo for you real quick is the shift light. I have the shift light programmed at 3500 RPM now. This is adjustable so you can set it to whatever you want or you can set it to 8000 RPM and disable it. So, uh, you can see I have a RPM readout right now, and uh, if I rev the car to over 3500 RPM, the shift light is activated. And it's a very bright, intense flash, and you can definitely see it out of the corner of your eye while you're driving the car. And in addition to working in the shift mode, actually when you're in any mode, if I go over 3500 RPM, I still get my shift light. You don't have to be in the RPM mode to get that. Another thing I'd like to show you now is the instant data log or the 15 second record and playback. The 15 second record is triggered by hitting any button. So if you do a peak recall or a mode switch, it records for the next 15 seconds. So if you're about to do something that you want to record, just reach over and slap one of the buttons and then for the next 15 seconds the gauge is going to record so it's going to record everything that's going on right now and it's also going to record RPM and I'll show you in just a second you can see I was going over 3500 so I was activating my shift light now to play that back you hold the peak recall button and you see the playback flash and you'll see the real-time playback of the data that I was changing there for boost and then you'll also see it for RPM and that's the instant data log so you can see your boost in relation to RPM in a real-time data log for 15 seconds perfect for a quarter mile run next thing I want to demo is the BMW extended code read and clear this shows you all BMW extended shadow codes and every every code that you could possibly get and gives you the opportunity to clear them so if you've got any tuner codes or anything like that, you can clear them. So um, I'm going to go ahead and start the car and boot the gauge up. And what you're going to see is as soon as the gauge boots, if your car has a code, which this does, it's going to say code, and it's going to read that back to you. And then if you hold the button, it's going to clear that code. So if you don't press anything, it just goes ahead right into the gauge.